Hello everyone and welcome to another video. If you are new to the channel, I'm David, I'm a London based content creator and today I want to show you how to remove uh, the wire or cable in DaVinci Resolve to create things like the video that you saw before. Uh, let's get into it. Once we have our videos in the timeline, we need to go to the Fusion tab and then press Ctrl Alt. We will search for paint. As you can see, it will add it in, in the middle of the yellow line. And then we have the paint ready. So we have to click in this symbol. So we will draw a line uh, right where we want to remove the cable and press the button where is uh, the wire removal and automatically we remove the cable. You have so many different options. Depends on your project, uh, you will need to play around with these options and see what works the best for you. Then you will need to go to the bottom to stroke controls and where it say right click here for save animation, you need to uh, click in the right button of your mouse and then click animate. Otherwise, you won't be able to animate the keyframe, so you will be basically moving the straight line covering during the whole time, but you won't record it. So once you do this, you can start keyframing frame by frame uh, the movement of this uh, fishing line or cable or wire, uh, and then is the way that you can remove it. You have two types of brushes that you can use for this. Uh, uh, you will need to find out uh, which one works best for you. Uh, depends on your background, the color, the lighting. You might need one or the other. Uh, the best is play with both of them and see which one gives you the best results. I found that when you are doing video of 120 frames per second or 60, it works pretty well when you keyframe every five frames. But when you are doing uh, less than 60, or in this case, uh, pictures, uh, is a motion time lapse. The best option is doing it frame by frame, one by one, even if it takes a long time. This way, you will make sure that it's perfect. When you keyframe it, uh, you just play it a few times to double check. There is no uh, nothing weird going on, as sometimes it doesn't cover the whole thing or something is not working right. And then when you have to go, to the controls I showed you before and I just uh, uh, different of one play around with them to see how you can make cover it and blending with the background uh, as I say depend on the background it will change a lot how you need to play with them so it's quite difficult to really tell you what to do in this case because uh, every video every clip is a different story I recommend once uh, you finish removing the cable I normally try to add some kind of uh, overlay thing or effect. In this case, I add some particles. So this kind of high a bit, if you make any mistake or you make it even better, you can avoid this if uh, you want. But in my opinion, you make it look a lot better. But obviously no, sometimes in all the cases, you are able to do this when it's just uh, a normal video and it's not a product video something like that and there are people you can really add anything strange or super crazy in there going on so that's everything for today uh, i hope you found it uh, helpful uh, please like and subscribe leave any comments uh, with any questions you might have and see you in the next video